Good morning, Year 4. Happy Friday. <laughs> it's the last day of Week 4, Home Learning. You're all doing a fantastic job. Um, today we're looking at page 15, so we're looking at division. And my shout out for today goes to Callum, because he has had a fantastic go at the starters and the challenges that I have been setting this week. And I've been really impressed with his effort and attitude towards learning at home. So well done, Callum. You're doing an excellent job. Keep it up. So our learning question for today is, can I use my multiplication knowledge to answer division questions? So whilst we're looking at multiplication knowledge, we're actually going to be building and developing our um, understanding um, to help us to answer questions for division okay so the first activity that I've got today is your starter to get your brains warmed up because after talking to some of your mums and dads over email I think these starters are helping you to get your brains ready for some learning um, I want you to have a go at matching the calculations which are the ones in orange to the correct answer now two of these calculations go to one answer don't worry if you're not sure what the answer is because i'm going to show you a very cool trick um, to help you to work out the place value of the numbers when you're doing division okay so i just want you to have a go to see what you already know okay so pause the video have a go match them up and then Come back to press play and we'll go through the answers, OK? So if you had matched them up like this, then well done. You've doing, you're doing a great job. You must know lots about division already. If you weren't quite sure, that's fine because we're going to cover it over in today's lesson. So 4,200 divided by 10 is 420. 4,200 divided by 100 is 42. And 420 divided by 10 is also 42. Two. So before we um, move on, I just want to share some vocab that we use for division. So we've got shared by, divided by, division, shared equally, share or group. OK, so if you see any of the vocabulary that's on this board being referred to in questions, you know that it'll be a division question. OK, so. A lot of you already know what the inverse operation is. Now, the inverse is the opposite. It's another word for opposite. So the inverse of addition would be subtraction. So that must mean that the inverse operation for multiply would be to divide. So the first set of questions, so question one, is asking you to work out the answer to these division statements. Now, I would use the inverse to help me on this because I could very easily use the inverse to get my answer. Because if I know that 54 is in the nine times table, what do I have to times by nine to get the answer 54? OK, so I hope that makes sense. Please use your times tables grids or your sheets in the back of your planners to help you with this one. You need to find out how many times. The numbers go in to the two digit numbers so how many times does one go into 88 well i know that one can go into 88 88 times because one divided by 88 is 88 okay so you're going to write your eights a lot neater than me i'm doing it on my laptop so i'm finding it very tricky to get my writing out on my um, mouse mat okay so how many times does four go into 16 four eight 12 16 my answer would be 4 so can you see that when you do 4 times 4 you get 16 and when you do 16 divided by 4 you get 4 so you can use the inverse to help you to figure out the answers to these questions okay moving on to question 2 you need to make sure that you're writing the correct number in each box so for a b and c you need to divide by 10 so i'll just mark on you're dividing by 10, OK? For D, E and F, you're dividing by 100. Now, I'm going to show you a really good method to help you to figure this out because I can see that B is 5, OK? And 5 
divided by 10 might be a little bit tricky for some of you and the same with 2 divided by 100 I might be a little bit anxious a little bit scared about trying to do it because it's new it's different okay so we're going to have a go at doing it together so if I were you I would draw out a grid like this and I would write my thousands hundreds tens and ones and I would write the number on the top row so I would write, I can see that in 860, so I know I've got six tens and zero ones. So in my tens column, I'm going to write six. And in my ones, I'm going to write one. Now, I know that I'm dividing by 10. So that means I've got to go back by one because it's going to be, you're dividing by 10. So you're going to see how many times um, 60, uh, 10 goes into 60. So I've gone back by one. On my place value and I can see that six uh, that 10 goes into 60 10 times because if you think about it year four six times by 10 equals 60 so I know that six can go into 10 to make 60 so six times 10 is 60 so 60 divided by 10 must be six because I know already that in order to get 60, I need to go in times 10 six times. So it must be that when I divide 60 by 10, it equals six. So to help you, I drew this, I've drawn this um, chart out to show you that actually the six goes back into the ones because you're dividing. So you're actually going to go backwards. OK, now this is a little bit trickier. We're going to introduce decimal places, decimal points and decimal places. So we can have numbers that are decimals, okay? And when we are looking at decimals, you can see that there'll be a number before the decimal, a decimal point, and then the numbers to go after the decimal. So 47 divided by 100 becomes 0.47, okay? So because I've got two zeros, I know I need to go back to place value spaces. So for 40, I've got 40 tens. I go back one, I go back two. I've actually got four tenths, okay? For my seven ones, I go back into my tenths and then my hundreds. So then the number becomes 0 0.47 because I've got two zeros here. So I've got my hundreds, I've got zero tens and zero ones. I need to go back two spots, okay? Because that's two place value um, markers that I need to move. So have a go using that chart to help you and use the jumps to help you figure out where your number is going to be when you divide. To check your answers, I would use a calculator to make sure that you can see whether you are right or not. So I try to work it out in my head and on paper first using the methods that I have shown you. Always remember that you can use the inverse to help you. Now, if the numbers are a little bit trickier where a decimal place is involved, please do not worry. Give it your best shot. OK, because I think we'll be looking at decimals further on in the workbook anyway. So don't get too worried about them. It's just a little bit of a taste to see what you already know. And then I would then use a calculator to help me to check whether my answer is right or not. OK. Oh, moving on to question three, work out the missing numbers in the division facts. So very similar to question one, but your spaces, your blank spaces are your answers but some of them are part of the division sentence some of them are the answer in the division sentence okay so using what you know about your multiplication knowledge can you fill in the missing numbers so what do you have to divide by six to get four well I know that four and six appear in the two times table okay so have a think and see what you can do um, use, your, use your multiplication knowledge, use your times tables grid to help you and check your answers as well when you are done using a calculator. But I'd like to see you have a go at doing this um, first on your own without the help of a calculator. Remember, as always, use the inverse operation to help you figure it out. So 45 divided by something equals five. 
Well, I know that 45 is in the 5 times table, so I might count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 45 divided by 9 must equal 5. I hope that makes sense. I want you to give it a go. If you are struggling on this particular task today, let me know. And on Monday, we can try and make sure, because I'm, I'm sure we've got division again on Monday, um, that we can revisit this and break it down step by step, OK? But for today, we're looking at multiplication, knowledge and facts to support us to figure out division. OK, my last question is saying circle the number that is 100 times smaller than 91. So because the word smaller has been used, I know it's going to be division. If it said larger, I would use multiplication. You've got three, four, five, six different choices that you can make here. Now remember, 100 times you're going to be going back two places. So have a look at your tens and your ones on the table below and try and place where it needs to go. And make sure you put your zero before your decimal place. Because if there's no value in front of your decimal place, it always is going to be a zero. OK, so it'll be zero point and then your answer. OK, so have a go. Try your best. If you are stuck on it, please let me know and we will help you. Your challenge for today is to have a go at using the digit cards to fill in the missing digits. You Now, these digit cards are only used once I've looked at the answers. They only appear once in all of these sentences okay so once you've used the number one then you can't use the number one again okay because looking at the answers the number one has only been used once to fill in one of the gaps okay so just use the digit cards to fill in the missing digits um, try your best with this one if you are stuck it's fine it's just as an extra challenge for children that want to practice their division and multiplication skills please give it a go it's been great to see so many children have had a go already and as always, send in your work to year4 at sandandprimary.org.uk. And last but not least, to have a look at your reflections today, can you have a go at doing a reflection triangle? So something you've done well, something you need to think about for next time and a key word that you have learned from the lesson. Now, I would highly recommend that you use your place value chart that I, I have shown you using the decimal place to help you get used to using division when you're having to use a decimal. Now, I think I, I find decimals tricky, so I want you to give it a good go, and I really do want to know how you find this task. So can you get a mum or a dad when they email in to let me know how you find today's lesson, today's work? Because if, it, if you are finding it hard, then I will spend more time going over um, how to answer the division questions, okay? But you've all been doing a great job this week at your division and multiplication. But I don't think you need that much help. I think you've been doing a fantastic job. But if you do need some more support, let me know. But today, we're just going to be using multiplication knowledge to look at division questions before we move on, okay? Um, and as always, please send your work into year four um, so I can see what you've been doing. And I will see you all on Monday for another maths video and I'll see you soon. Bye.